Hi everybody, Russ from the Western Network. Hope you're all safe and well. Monday, Monday, so good to me. Is that the right song? Um, but it's not, is it? We've had a <laughs> well answer the women, the women lionesses. We finally brought it home yesterday. Fantastic. Glad to show the men how to do it. Um, and it was crazy. Paul Koncheski, uh, obviously the West Ham women's uh, first team coach, was in Sky, was at the Sky Sports Studio doing the, uh, the sort of the commentary analysis. So very good to see. Well, unconch, very very good. Um, it's Hammers headlines time again. I know you you sort of you put your clock on it. Uh, we always five o'clock in the UK. Always every Monday to Friday, and I bring to you the first of August pinch punch first of the month no returns. And we kick off against Man City on Sunday. So it's the the next, it's, it's the week, it's the week in preparation. But I bring to you three stories. One's a, a two, two about old, old ex players. And we'll do, we'll do one sort of little bit of a transfer room, rumors type thing. We did a big transfer rumors show at 12 o'clock to 12 30 uh, this morning, this afternoon. So check that out with all the latest around um, Onana and Kosick and stuff like that. And we're going to talk about Kosick now, actually, um, in terms of, uh, according to XWHU employee, um, there have, West Ham have six alternative transfer options to the i check frankfurt wing back philippe klossick um he has named x has named uh bronus uh brought borna sosa who's a good player alex grimaldo from benfica good player uh maxwell corne from from burnley uh david uh hank co from Sparta Prague, as well as two unnamed options that could arrive at the London Stadium. He shared that the club is determined to get a left-sided player through the door in this transfer window. And the site's um, set on a very difficult deal for Kosick. Um, we have, well, we've left it down to his agent, by all accounts, Alessandro Lucci, um, who is obviously Gianluca Scamacca's agent as well. It's, it's with you, mate. If you, if you, you sort it out. So they're buying up a number of alternatives because they think it's a very, very tough one to go for the door. And I and I, I agree. If I was Kosick, I'd probably stay, in all honesty. Uh, with Ryan Trek Frankfurt, he's been there for many years. Um, he's established there. Uh, he, his team are playing in Champions League football. How long they progress is another stage, but it doesn't matter. They're playing Champions League football. And he literally will be a free agent at the end of this season coming. So he can only probably get the wages that West Ham are offering now. Plus he'll get a little, little bunts and burner in terms of the signing on fee. Apparently West Ham are putting together a package to sort of facilitate that, but get him now. That's 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 was like one of the one of the one of the um, news sources were mentioning. So, but apparently they have um, and they've left it up to him. But there has to become a certain point where basically we've gone right. That's it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, we've got one month left of the transfer window, and obviously less than a week until the Premier League kicks off on Sunday at uh, with Man City at London Stadium. And um, so, as I said. There's six options potentially um, that uh, Moyes and Day and Rob Newman um, have you know, as backup if uh, the classic deal doesn't happen, which I don't think it will do. But we'll see. We'll see. So uh, it looks like in terms of those four that are named, uh, Sosa apparently is, is, I think, Man City are courting him. Um, particularly as Cucurella, um from uh, Brighton. They brought him up 50 million quid. Apparently they've offered about 25, 30 million quid. So, yeah, um, that could be another saga, definitely. Um, the likes of Corne potentially, you know, we've been looking at him. Um, Obviously, Dwight McNeil went to Everton. Paul Burnley were very good on Friday. If you saw it, Josh Cullen man the match. Excellent. Um, Hank and Grimaldo, I think, are two more interesting ones, potentially. Grimaldo, I know, was looking at, I think it's Arsenal, were looking at him as well. Um, but that's gone quiet, so we'll see. But also today, I mentioned um, the former Man City and current RB Leipzig left-back, um, Angelino, um, who apparently we're looking at as well. He's 25. Um that could be good, and particularly when they've signed Leipzig, have signed David Rahm as well. Um, he wants to um, move on by all accounts, so we'll see what happens there. But they, the the main takeaway is we've got lots of options, and we want le some sort of left sided person. All right, simples. Let's move on and talk about a couple of new appointments for former Hammers. 
Now, let's start with the former West Ham manager, Slaven Bilic. Um, he's set to land a surprise job at Greek champions Olympiakos. Lovely weather this time of the year um, after their Champions League failure. Um, obviously, we know about Slav. He was played for West Ham. He was West Ham manager. Um, things turned sort of a bit sour for him. We moved to the London Stadium uh, and Bilic was shown the door. And since then, he's had brief spells at um, Saudi club al Itiad, Iti, Iti, I had anyway. uh, West Brom, and he went to the, the Chinese side, um, Beijing Gao Gao, um, all ending in the sack, unfortunately. Um, and now he looks like to be in line for a surprise role uh, at Greek champions uh, Olympiakos after they lost five one to Macba Haviv in the Champions League qualifier in midweek. The reports that that cost Pedro that will cost Pedro Martins, the current manager, his job despite winning the league in three of his four years at the club, um, including by a massive 19 points last season. Wow. Um, the German uh, news outlet GermanIAC.hr um have reported that uh, Slaven Bilic is the, is the candidate for his successor. He has received an offer from the Arcos and is close to making a decision to accept it. The price of holidays, particularly, I'll take it, cause even for the summer, because um, they'll pay for you to go out there. Um, so we'll see what happens. Now, um, I'm for, uh, I, I, I never thought in 2022 I'd be doing a news article about Benny McCarthy. Not, he's, he, now, he's not, I'm not talking about him being our, our strike option after Gianluca Skarmacca. But uh, Eric Ten Hag has appointed Benny McCarthy as um, onto the Man United coaching staff. His, his appointment was confirmed at the weekend. Um, the former West Ham striker, who played 14 appearances and not scored a goal, um, is um, going to be in charge of attacking um, and positioning. Basically a striker coach who didn't score for West Ham in 14 appearances. Uh, he left his post at the um, at Amazulu as Amazulu head coach in March after guiding the South African team to a record second position in the league. Um, and apparently McCarthy is a Man United boyhood fan. Um, so Man United signing Benny McCarthy, who scored no goals for West Ham as a striking coach. And that's it today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, obviously, with the build-up to the Man City game and the kickoff to the Premier League, um, we've got all the reviews and stuff like that coming up. So check that out. Um, we've also got obviously the Fantasy Football League, and we've got um, the Predictions League as well. Where do you think West Ham are going to finish in the season? Carabao Cup, yada yada yada. All available if you go to the West Ham YouTube channel, the West Ham Network YouTube channel, and uh, click on the Community tab. All the links are in there. And that's it, my friends. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Stay lucky. Stay cheeky. Stay positive. Stay hydrated. Still a bit clammy out there, my friends. And uh, I'll see you probably tomorrow um take care take care also don't forget that um we had the um sort of the announcements i know it's been covered by kumb.com but in terms of who we're going to be signing who we're going to be potentially drawn against um in the playoffs where is it i've deleted it um but there was five teams could be the likes of andelect could be the likes of ai k from from sweden it could be um, a Malta side, Giza United, um, all that great stuff. So that'll be tomorrow. The draw will be tomorrow, so check that out. And um, we'll see you guys very, very soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>